gentlemen welcome to beer beer reviews uh, tonight we have a really kind of interesting beer it's a collaboration beer between Ilkley Brewery I'm gonna have to read the names um, Roy Dup and Ursop Brewery from um, Blue the Bird from Holland and this is a uh, passion fruit uh, double white IPA uh, so it's it's, 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 got, it's, got, it's got a lot in it really um, made with English barley American New Zealand hops Yorkshire water Belgian yeast passion fruit and Dutch courage which I quite like um, it's 7.8%, so it's a pretty strong fella. Um, oh, it just sounds really interesting, to be honest. I like passion fruit um, IPAs. I don't think I've done a review yet, but I've had a couple. Um, so this one's just bound to be good. But it says white IPA. I'm guessing it's because it's Belgian yeast. Um, white IPA. Um, I suppose Belgian wit, perhaps, or something like that. But we'll soon see. Actually, God, look at that colour. That's why it's a white IPA, because it's pretty much... Um, that's really pale really pale beer so there we go pull that one out yeah crystal clear absolutely crystal clear it's very strawberry colored it does have a kind of twinge of um of apricot sort of notes to it but it's it's very very pale extremely clear slightly creamy off white head um it's gonna it's gonna lace quite well uh, once I've got drinking it a bit. Uh, nice and big, nice and nose carbonation in it. Looks really, I mean, it, it genuinely looks really pretty in the glass. Really pretty in the glass. So let's get a nose on this. Oh yeah. My God, that is juicy as anything. Yeah, it's passion fruit, passion fruit, passion fruit, tropical fruits, passion fruit, and more passion fruit. Oh man, it smells so good. It's got that floral sweetness to it that you only get from tropical fruits. Um, this kind of like slight acidity to it, uh, juicy, juicy, juicy. I can't, I can't describe how fresh it smells. It, it just, it really does smell like a, a passion fruit squashed in, in front of me. Um, God, it smells really nice. Uh, I'm just trying to see. I mean, they say they put bucketfuls of fresh passion fruit in it, um, and I'm, I believe them because my God, it smells of passion fruits. Oh, wow, if it tastes half as good as it smells, it's, it's, it's an absolute winner. Cheers everyone, let's give it a try. That's a little bit disappointing actually. That's not what I was hoping to, um, to find in the glass. Um, the initial flavours in the mouth a really sweet and quite heavy caramel uh, and that dominates throughout the entire palate um, I, I mean maybe it's just the fact that it smelled so good I'm getting very subtle hints of that later on what I'm getting more and more is I'm getting earthy and very spicy hot flavors and then a nice a nice level of bitterness but it's on the strong side of bitter it's definitely on the strong side of bitter 7.8% um, and I can feel the malt character coming through from that. It's got this like deep, rich caramel, um, almost bordering on like, I mean, it is an Imperial White IPA, um, so I'm getting quite an Imperial malt flavour. It's getting this sweet, dense, rich caramel, but not getting counterpoint at all with passion fruit. I genuinely mean it. It's completely lacking anything fruity or floral from passion fruit even in the aftertaste it just seems to have been completely lost I don't know where it's gone because it I smelt it and it just smells like just juicy as anything but I cannot taste it I just really can't and I really want to be able to taste it but I'm getting um, I'm getting <laughs> really sweet malt flavour and really earthy and spicy hops and a quite strong bitterness. I'm not opposed to any of that, and I think as a stronger IPA, almost in an English IPA sense, it works very well. Um, but I just... Uh, um, Belgian yeast as well. I'm not getting Belgian yeast, not getting those S3 characters through at all. Wow, that's really disappointing. I've had quite a lot by Oakley, done a few reviews from Beer Fest and stuff on, on the channel, uh, York Beer Fest in particular, uh, and have enjoyed most of the range a lot. Really enjoyed it. Cranberry milk style, not so much. And this one, unfortunately, uh, De Passe, I am I'm struggling. 
I'm really struggling. It's not on my. If you ask me if, if I blind taste tested this, smelling it, I might have said passion fruit. Um, tasting it, I'd say English IPA, um, which in itself isn't a bad thing. But when you're defining it as a passion fruit, an imperial passion fruit, white IPA, Belgian yeast, tons of passion fruits, and an aroma like that. Still smells so good. It smells amazing. It really smells amazing. On terms of, in terms of aroma, this is a ten out of ten aroma, and in flavour, it's just lacking. It's so disappointing. <sighs> grr, grr. Could have been, could have been, should have been so good. I had the opportunity to try it on cask and on keg this weekend, and I, I passed it up. And that was a, a foolish thing for me to have done because I bet you, I just think it would have been fresh. Just some of those qualities might have been retained more. Oh, that's real. It's a real shame. Sorry, guys. Um, I won't, I won't, I won't give a review because I have a feeling maybe I've got a light struck bottle or something and it's just not transferred as well as it should have done. Um, disappointing, disappointing. If you had to give me, if 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 it was an English IPA, I'd give it probably a good seven. Seven and a half, maybe out of ten, because it's quite a nice drink. As a imperial passion fruit white IPA, it completely flunks, uh, unfortunately. Um, so I hope I'm wrong. I hope everyone else gets bottles of this and it's amazing and it tastes as good as it smells. But for me, near for me. Sorry, guys. So please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. You had this beer here. Hope you had a better experience. And until the next beer beer reviews, cheers.